question that was asked is that, I guess there's several questions to it, is why do people sweat? Sweat is a way for the body to cool itself down. So we sweat to like cool ourselves. Like dogs sweat through their mouth, that's why they... <laughs> um, pigs don't sweat, which is pretty funny. They're sweating like a pig, so but no one rolls in mud. That's how they cool down. So sweating is a way for the body to cool itself down. Now, adding on to that is why do some people sweat and why others don't sweat? Some people... Um, yeah, look, I don't know a lot about that, but I would imagine that there is something going on with the body that maybe they just don't sweat. But the thing is, you sweat through your pores, like you sweat through your hands, your armpits, um, you exhale like heat. Um, so they're probably expelling heat in other forms. Like you can, you sweat your crotch, your bum crack, your thighs, back of the legs. So just because someone's not sweating on their face doesn't mean they're not sweating elsewhere. And there's a lot of clothing lines now that absorb a lot of that sweat and like don't show color. Like I'm wearing a shirt, I'm sweating through my armpits. I think you can see it, but it's, it just absorbs the sweat. So because you can't see me sweating here, doesn't mean that I'm not sweating. Like uh, you would have to be like, okay, strip down naked and let's, uh, let's just observe and touch everybody. But that, that's not gonna happen. Um, there are a lot of people out there that don't sweat and they aren't very healthy. So that's a concern in itself because sweating is a natural thing the body does. I find like people that become healthier do tend to sweat more, but there are people out there that don't sweat because they're, you know, they can be healthy, but they're just not pushing themselves. It's like, oh, I push really hard. Yeah, you, you're bullshitting yourself. Like a lot of people build like a certain level of strength up, but they just don't want to push it any harder. So they stay at that same level, like 20 kilo bench press, body pump, and they're pushing and they're pushing. They keep doing high reps, but they're not pushing themselves towards failure. Um, and also I'd say, I don't like, again, like I said, I don't know a lot about it, but you know, some people genetically sweat more than others. So some people are fortunate where they don't sweat much and there are others that sweat a lot. Like I look at guys in suits and I go, how are you not sweating? Cause like I sweat in a shirt. Like sometimes without a shirt on, I'm like sweating. My partner's like, I'm really cold. I'm like, get away from me, you're so cold. I'm like generating a lot of heat and sweating my head off. Yeah. But isn't it important to sweat um, when you're training or you're exercising? Cause then you know you're actually making the body do something. If you don't sweat, uh, you're not sweat doing isn't anything. Like, sweat isn't the indicator. Like if I lift a hundred, like if I do a hundred kilos, for four reps and I push for that fourth rep and I rack it, I haven't pushed myself to the point to cause a metabolic um, adaptation, which is like 40 to 70 seconds. So therefore I'm not pushing to that point, but I will find that, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna sweat, but the muscles will have tension on them to force them to grow. So there's all these signals occurring in the body at any one time. So sweating isn't the, the indicator of a great workout. Like, you, this way a training program is in my opinion superior because you can look you can objectively look at it oh I didn't sweat for four weeks but my bench press went from 100 to 110 okay well you obviously got stronger <laughs> just because you didn't sweat doesn't mean you haven't progressed a lot of people it's believed that you've got to sweat you've got to have that burn but there are three different things that you've got um, mechanical tension metal stress and like muscle damage like metabolic stress and muscle damage would tend to lead to more sweating or that burning effect. But mechanical tension is the tension on the tendons and the muscles. That's where you build strength. You probably won't sweat or feel the burn there, but you will feel a struggle. Like, like you push anyone to do like two to three reps max, they'll find that they're grinding a weight. There'll be a certain point where they grind. But again, that weight's still going up. You're still going to be progressing. So sweat isn't the... Uh, the the gold standard of progress. Like, load is king. See so you're getting heavier, getting stronger, great. Take photos of your body, you see your posture improving. Just because you didn't sweat doesn't mean your posture doesn't get better. So you've got to have some metrics in place to establish or, uh, yeah, establish and assess objectively if you're progressing or not. So if you're someone that um, does like group fitness classes for example they are designed to 
make the attendees sweat. So if you are only doing that form of exercise where each time you exercise, you sweat like excessively or you chase that. So at least you sweat a little bit so you feel like you're getting that burn. Um, is like, what's the thought pattern there? Is, are they creating too much stress on their body? Like, is that is that a sign that will actually sweat in that instance is bad because sweating is showing that your body is under stress and if that's the way that you're putting your body through um stress i'm not wording this properly I but the yeah. question probably to ask is um are group classes beneficial yes two is the purpose of group fitness classes like is to get people to work out and to get them to sweat like that's where the saying is you know um sweat is your fat crying or funeral for your fat or you know, ladies glow they don't sweat um is pushing to that benchmark of having to sweat in a class benefiting people or is it actually um it's causing a stress yes but is it an excessive stress yeah um well when the body's under stress that is a mechanism in place to help cool the body down so you can stay at that level um the body will adapt to any form of stress applied to it in a moderation like you will apply like again using training as the response i apply a bit of stress i apply load my body will adapt if i add too much load i can't press it up i push to the point of failure i can't continue so if you then apply sweat that will typically occur because people push the metabolism or their body to a certain point and they hold it there for a period of time the body overheats that's a cooling mechanism so sweat is a good thing to have now if you've got someone who's pushing at that level for a high end period of time and none of these mechanisms kick in then that's a level of concern so to answer the consensus question the side effect if they don't sweat that's probably where you start to ask questions like have you ever sweated before no i never sweat be always cold then there's probably something happening to that body that's got it overloaded that these things aren't happening because it's natural um i have to ask christian more about that because that is a really good question that i like um <clears throat> but in the sense that if a body's overloaded it's overstressed or overworked it's going to give you signs or symptoms that are explaining why it's not doing that if you look at the person's lifestyle symptoms like this what i'm saying is like if there are symptoms and you're feeling as a coach or a trainer hmm i'm a little bit uncertain then how you got to refer out like like i said i don't know a lot about this so this is why i have people in place to talk with to understand it more but if we uncover it i don't think it's the biggest thing uh sweating because everyone's different but if they're not sweating at all ask them questions about their lifestyle their stress and see like are they ever stressed or they ever worked if they're not maybe they just don't sweat So yeah, bring it back group fitness classes. I'm not a massive fan, but they're good for people. I used to do them all the time. Um I find that when people put, really push themselves to a certain level, people sweat. But if you're not sweating, you're exhaling. That's you getting rid of heat. Everyone has there are different mechanisms where if one doesn't work, something will take over. Now, hey, if you, the body can't handle it, it'll stop. 